G'day guys. In today's video, I'll be going over my current setup for Revertuner, Statistic Server, and the MSI Afterburner. If you're a regular watcher of my channel, you'll see on various video game benchmarks that I do have the overlay in the top left-hand corner, and that covers usually various statistics like CPU temp, usage, frequency, same with the GPU, VRAM usage, RAM usage, frame rate, and there's a whole bunch of other different configurable settings there. So what I'm going to do in this video is just quickly go over what I've got enabled on mine, and I'll also leave a, a download for my current configuration in the description. So hopefully you'll be able to get a better idea on your particular machine on where you may be getting bottlenecked in certain games, and also what particular games you play uh, and how demanding they are for your computer. Anyway, let's check that out. So right now I'm going to go with the assumption that you already have this both of these programs installed and typically we would be normally begin with MSI Afterburner and what I usually do is go down the bottom left hand side click on settings and oh, there we go and right up here we've got GPU 1 NVIDIA GeForce so essentially you have GPU 1 GPU 2 if you're running on a laptop and potentially the same here on a desktop so you want to select the primary GPU in your system. You can go start window, start minimize, so then it automatically loads up. I found a couple of games do have incompatibility or compatibility issues with this, and that's typically Call of Duty Warzone and Counter-Strike Global Offensive. But for what I need, we'll go to monitoring. So I've got GPU 1, which is the RTX 3060 in this machine, and you want to have it ticked, and you want to have in OSD. So we go down to here and tick show in on-screen display. And essentially you work your way through the list and tick the various ones you need. So I go temperature, usage, memory usage, power usage. So that will tell me what wattage will, will tell me what wattage the GPU is currently running at, which is very handy trying to determine that. Next up, I just have the overall CPU temperature and GPU power. Where are we? CPU usage and the CPU clock speed all getting displayed. So just make sure you got to keep ticking that but that box there. So you tick them on and tick that box. Same with CPU power, RAM usage, frame rate min, average max, and frame rate. So that's what I typically have for most of my games. So I'd go apply, go OK. Next up, I would load up Reva, uh, Tuner Statistic Server. And typically have that set to auto run with Windows, show on screen display set to on and on. And usually over here you can leave this pretty much left as it is. The biggest thing that I also do is over here in these settings down here, that's typically just how it will display the overlay. So if I go uh, Vector 3D, as you see, it's a bit sharper, or I prefer Raster. And the 2D option is disabled. And probably the biggest thing, for me personally, just so you guys can see the statistics a bit easier, is I turn the zoom up. So typically, you can have the zoom right down low, or you can max it out to nearly covering most of the screen. I find for the videos, it's usually there, it's pretty good. And you can use arrows here to arrange it in which position you prefer. And once you've done that, we should be right to close and close. Now, basically you should be set up right now for Reaver Tuner. Some games, as I said, won't, aren't compatible or do require a fair bit more tweaking. I won't cover that in this video, but if we just simply load up MSI Afterburn, so I'll load up Afterburn again. And Rebatuna statistics. So with both them running, oh, whoop. might help if I actually run it. So I'll go yes. And I accidentally close afterburner. So as I mentioned already, you can have them set to automatically run. But I'm just going to leave that. And now I'm just going to go to, let's just say, Battlefield 1, which is my current go-to game. And 
we'll see the statistics load up from there. So it will be up to you. So I find it will be up to you personally on what particular statistics or information you want to be able to see, but I find for my video benchmarks that that is this, the current configuration that I'm using, and overall I've been pretty happy with it. I haven't had too many mentions of it or people being annoyed by it. So I'm going to believe most people are happy with the information it provides, and I hope it helps you. So I'll just quickly switch back to what I've currently got going on with mine. And here we go. As you can see, I've got my statistics coming up here just perfectly fine. You can rearrange them, shuffle them, do whatever you like. So that can be manually done if we go back into Afterburner and go on screen monitoring. And you can tweak a couple other different little things if you like. But mostly I'm happy with how it already shows out. But let's say you've loaded up your game and you found the font too small. You can load it up, tweak it here, bring back up the game, and it will manually resize itself from there. Anyway, that's all for MSI Afterburn and Reaver Tuner for today.